Hello, hello. I am a little bit late to the party, but I've never been known to be on time to the party. And slugs aren't known for their speed. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to have a look at Amberlynn's Fallout videos and then just some things I found online. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So I might get emotional and I really don't want to. I have been doing my fair share of crying for sure. I'm sure it looks it. I'm just having like genuine... I don't know, no, not really. I mean, now it does, but... Okay. Only a hard time. As you guys know, I met my girlfriend in person and like, for the lack of a better word, like it was just magical, like truly magical. And it just, I haven't felt that happy in forever, sorry. You know, finally being with someone, like, that I feel like isn't ashamed of me, like, it just felt really good. And so, like, I posted her on my Instagram, as you guys saw. I also posted her on TikTok. And I can't even tell you how much support we got. Like, it was a lot. Like, majority of you are literally the sweetest, like, ever. So thank you, like, from the both of us, truly. Like, a lot of you saw the happiness and saw the love just in a 16-second clip. So thank you for that. Like... Trust me, there's a lot of it. A lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy when we're together. Like, it just, it feels magical to me. And it's like... Yeah, you call it the honeymoon period. That's how it is. You guys know I don't post my girlfriends online because people... Oh, yeah? Well, just the last... Well, the one that moved in, Feline. Once before that, you posted too much online, but I'm glad she kind of learned her lesson with Feline. But also, there's a lot of other lessons that need to be learned. People are crazy. <laughs> People ruin it. They absolutely ruin it, without a doubt. But I remember there was a... Is it people who ruin it, or is it your girlfriend's own past who ruined it this time? Hmm. Discussion that me and my girlfriend had, she literally asked me, like, is it important for you that your partner is in your videos? And I said, in fairy tale world, yes. Like, yeah, that would be really nice for me. But realistically, I would understand if my partner did not want to be in my videos. I will never force someone to do that. And she said, literally, because it's important to me. You will never force someone to do that, but you did. I know it's the past, but the way she talks is not very accurate she makes it sound like she never ever would have and still won't that's why she would be willing to be in my videos and it just meant a lot it was very like selfless of her that's just one example of like the way that she loves me like when you see something that's important to your partner you kind of want to like make that happen for them and she wanted to do that for me and i thought that was super sweet so we were sorry about the quality okay it's back it's ready. We're super excited to post that video on Instagram and TikTok. And again, the love and support has been just so appreciated. But then there has been a lot that has happened since I posted it. And it's literally just a 16 second clip. And it has validated every fear that I've ever had about showing a partner on my videos or just on social media in general. There are so many rumors being made up about her. Things that are just like wild. Obviously, I have not heard every single rumor, so I can't sit here and deny or confirm every single thing because literally it's just a lot. But I do want to talk about some of the rumors that I have heard because I feel like that's super important. So the first thing is, no, she is not a feeder. People think that she's a feeder and she's definitely not that like yeah okay but there's literal proof of that like actual literal proof she posted herself on a kink website with her face okay like her whole face is on there and her ex's face and they i mean what more would you want Yes, she has a specific type, but I'm letting you guys know that like every single person that I've been in a relationship with, everyone that you guys have known, they said that they prefer girls my size. That is a thing that all of my partners have had in common. I think that I don't, I don't know if I would ever actually be in a relationship with someone who didn't prefer bigger girls because it's like, I am really big and I wouldn't see someone who prefers like smaller girls to be in a relationship with me that probably would never 
happen. So nine times out of 10, when someone my size is in a relationship, it's more than likely because I am that person's type. And that's no- Yeah, fair enough. I mean, there's something for everyone. People have different tastes. That's not the problem. Different in this relationship. But to be a feeder is a completely different topic. A feeder versus someone who prefers bigger girls, two completely different things. Yeah. And she is not that. She is. No one is saying those are the same things. It's obviously it's not. They can overlap, of course. But no one's making that mistake that I've seen. I've, I haven't seen anyone making that mistake is not a feeder, I would never in a million years be in a relationship with one. There's also rumors going around that she has STDs, specifically herpes, which is freaking insane and absolutely not true. I don't understand STD shaming anyways. I think that's wild to me, but that's a whole other topic. But no, she does not have herpes. That's crazy. So majority of these rumors actually came within like this anonymous person, like because this the screenshot is floating around literally everywhere. And they were just like, they made up this whole thing and this paragraph and it's like off the chain crazy. Something about how years ago, my girlfriend had a wife and they were trying to like get money. No, my girlfriend has never had a wife. She doesn't have a wife. She's actually not the one that you should be worried about having a wife, but uh, we won't go into that. She's never asked anyone. Okay, but I think her having a wife is the least of the issue. The issue is the asking for money everywhere. Like, the wife isn't an issue. One for money. She has a full-time job. She actually has a really great life. She's never asked me for money. This is actually a topic that I brought up with her, was like, you've never asked me, like, how much money I make? Nothing. Like, she has never talked to me about money, ever. I'm the one who actually brought it up because I was shocked by it. She was here for four days, and she bought majority of everything for us. And it's just like, people think that she's using me for money. Nope. She's extremely independent, and... I find that to be pretty attractive, not gonna lie. So those are like the main rumors and I'm telling you guys, majority of the rumors that you're hearing are absolutely untrue. There is this one thing that's floating around of this girl saying how like my girlfriend messaged her, you know, weeks ago. It wasn't weeks ago, it was months ago. It was even before me and my girlfriend even started talking. And that literally means nothing to me. Like, yes, people have a past. Like I was in a whole ass relationship before I met this girl. Like there is a such thing as like flirting and dating around and like trying to find your person. Like. I will never judge her for that. I think that's just, it's really weird that that would even be like a topic of discussion of like, oh my God, Amberlynn's girlfriend has talked to other girls in the past. Like, duh, we, we all have, like literally. I think the timeline is what's the problem, especially taken in conjunction with the fact that her ex-girlfriend passed away not that long ago. I think that's the actual problem is how quickly she was on the prowl again. I've been in how many relationships also like bringing in people from her past or bringing in like family members or bringing in like friends or whatever it may be is just crazy and it's not warranted it doesn't need to happen I just really want to protect her because her heart is so pure and genuine and beautiful like one of the actual greatest people I've ever known and I will do anything in my power that you've known for a month so yeah she's gonna seem great because honeymoon period and because at the start of a relationship everyone tries to kind of show their best side so of course she's gonna look good of course she's gonna look nice and kind and whatever and you're in love so of course she's gonna look good come on or to protect her like this has been affecting her she's not used to being in the spotlight like this especially with so many people who like want to create drama or create content regarding her. Really ultimately it's people creating lies and rumors and it's affecting her. It's affecting me and it's not fair and it's not. But okay, but she knew who you were before she got with you. So she should have known what's coming. Not saying it's right or she deserves it or people deserve to contact her or whatever. Put that aside. But if I was interested in Amber, right? If I wanted to be with her, I would private my social media <laughs> as fast as I can. I would delete stuff. I would private it as far as I can. I will change my usernames, whatever, just so people can't snoop too much or dox me. I, I, that's my main thing, actually. I don't have some weird sordid past. It's just doxing. I would be 
afraid of doxing. <laughs> That's it. Like, I don't need the whole internet to know where I am, where I live, who my mom is, who my siblings are, who my everyone, you know, in my life are. So you should have thought about that sooner. Right? She's literally just trying to love me and have a relationship with me and she's being torn apart for it. So to protect her and to protect us and to protect our peace, I don't think I want her on camera anymore. And I don't think she wants to be on camera. Like we were going to share our relationship online. Like she was going to be in my videos and I really wanted that. And she wanted that. Like it was going to be a moment for all of us. And I know how many people would have literally loved to see that. And I know there still are so many of you, majority of you are rooting for us. And I appreciate that so much, but there is a group of people who have ruined the possibility of something really great for this channel and I know that I can carry on this channel by myself I always have somehow I always make it through and I'm grateful for every single one of you who watch me but like it would have been fun to have another element I know you guys would have loved that but ultimately mental health comes first people's well-being comes first and I don't want anything to affect my girlfriend because she means the absolute world to me it just sucks like a lot that this has happened. It was literally just because of a 16 second clip of us just being happy and us just being in love. I think that we just need to do better as people. I don't really know what else to say right now. Um, it just ultimately sucks really bad. And it's like, as much as I wanted people to do the right thing, I should have known that like, that wasn't gonna happen. And that's really sad, really. I don't really know when I'm gonna be filming again. I kind of just feel like defeated a little bit and it's just hard, so. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, next video. Hi guys, I look like crap because I feel like crap. I really don't even know what to say, but like, you guys don't know the full story at all. And I think that's like the hardest part of this whole thing is like, there is a big part of this story missing, but I'm never going to sit there and talk about other people's personal things because that's not... That's not me, that's not who I am. But because of this... Except when it's Destiny and her brother and who knows what else, okay? Me and now my ex, we are not together. Ooh. Awkward. <laughs> she's she's there? Is she there? Let's just see that again. But that's not me, that's not who I am. But because of this, me and now my ex, we are not together anymore. And this has left her like debilitated like literally like her mental health has gone down so much like she's literally one of the greatest people and it's like to see people say things that are not true at all like it's not surprising that's literally what people do that's what they've done my whole freaking youtube career and well then you know then you should have told her look private your shit uh people are gonna find the dirt on you Make sure you are secure. Make sure it's difficult to dox you. That's just part of the reality. And for these people to act like they care about me now, yes, I know there are thousands of you who love me and support me and want to see me happy. And I appreciate those messages, but you guys have no idea. Like, I feel it. But all of these people who act like they care about me and they're worried about me, bull, bull. Like, you guys have never wanted to see me happy. <laughs> There are so many of you who love to see me miserable and you're getting that. You won again. You literally won again. What's happening is not okay. Like it's not. And this is the very fucking reason why I don't want to show people in my videos. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with so many of you. I am talking to a big part of you, but I'm not talking to all of you. So I need that to be like fully known like i know there are a lot of people who love i wonder what tommy's doing sitting there to the side is she like nodding like yes babe tell them yes yes it's all lies poor me <laughs> and support me like i know that but like right now that is not being heard as much as i feel it what is really being heard is like Y'all are ruining someone's life who does not deserve it. Like, it is freaking crazy what is happening right now. You guys I don't know if her life is actually being ruined. Because, like I said, she was on a kink site with her whole face. <laughs> she had, a, like, a couple's kink Instagram that showed her face. 
um, she wasn't trying to hide that. Uh, I mean, there's a reason I don't show my face here, right? There's a reason for that. I do not need to be doxxed by the farms. I do not need that. That is why <laughs> I'm not showing my face. I'm not telling you what my job is. I'm not telling you where I live. I don't tell you stuff that I think could get me doxxed. I'm not saying everyone who doesn't hide stuff deserves to be doxxed, but I don't know, I, I just, mm. if you're a 28 or a 30 year old, you should know, you should know about internet safety. It, it's kind of like, you should know better, man. That interfered with my life in a way that like, it makes me want to just fucking disappear. You guys have no idea. Like, if you guys knew the full story, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. But you don't, and you'll never know. But like... Why not? If the full story will clear everything up, and it's going to be all fine and dandy, why not share it? It's like Foodie Beauty with her marriage certificate. Like, yeah, I totally have it. And it's totally going to put all the the room is dressed, but I'm not going to show it for reasons. Same vibes here. To find out all this fucking shit and then make your own narrative with it and say that I'm in danger. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. This has pushed me away. Completely pushed me away. I don't think I'll be the same for a long time. Like Pushed you away from, from what exactly? Truly a long time because I had a future planned and I was happy. After a month? Look, maybe I'm just a jaded asshole, but after a month? Ugh. And I was so fucking happy and so loved. Yeah, that part I believe. Happy, loved, yes. Because start of a relationship, yeah. Sorry about the quality. I don't know why the quality just dove. And now we aren't together anymore because like her mental health comes first and her safety comes first. I should have known something like this was going to happen because nine times out of 10, people make the smallest thing that I do or say or whatever it may be into like a fucking huge thing. Like I should have known, like I should have known, I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people do sometimes take something and run with it. And there is some big reaching that happens in the Reddit conversations and discussions. And sometimes with reaction channels, people reach a lot. Which I guess is understandable. I guess that's going to happen. It's like people tend, well, not everyone, but a lot of people tend to jump to the most extreme assumption. I've seen that a lot. So it's gonna happen. It sucks. It, it still sucks though. Her, shared her. I shouldn't have done it, but we were so fucking happy and in love and on cloud nine. Like, literally, like, I've never felt so loved before. And to have that taken from me because of people who actually hate me and that actually want to see me miserable, they don't care. Like, they don't care. It's all just for fucking show and for drama and people monetizing and making money. Like, it's not fair. But I hope that these people are happy because not only did they ruin my life, but they're ruining someone else's life. And still, I'm not sure it's life ruining. I, I don't think it's... I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I think that's an exaggeration. It's her mental health is not good right now, and neither am I. Like, I'm literally, like, look at me. Like, I just am a fucking mess. Like, everything right now feels heavy and scary, and it's just not okay. Like, I regret so badly ever sharing her. I know people are gonna watch this and just not give a fuck. They're just gonna roll their eyes and just not care. I feel like my words don't matter to a lot of people or the way that I feel. They never have mattered. People watch me to just laugh at me and to hate me, and I'm realizing, like, People just want to ruin my life, and um, it worked. So, people literally just don't think before they post. They're f really, really. Is that the <laughs> is is that the problem? 
Ugh. Looking just hungry for the next drama, the next... Yeah, you always get people like that. <laughs> always. ...thing to make me look bad or to make someone I love look bad. Like, that's just what they're waiting for. And when they... Yeah, but if there isn't anything to make them look bad, they're not going to succeed, now are they? I thought they found that. They turned it into something way bigger than what it really is. And you guys, again, do not know the full story. And it's sad, but you never will. I really don't know what else to say. Yeah, why won't we? Why won't we? Besides, I just... I kind of just feel defeated and hopeless. And I'm absolutely heartbroken. Like, it's just the worst feeling in the world. To go from being so fucking happy and like so sure of my feelings and my future to have that just ripped away from me over something that I didn't even do. Like, that's like the hardest part. Oh, it's just, is it just stopping there? Is that... Okay, I guess that's the end of the video. Well, I mean, I do feel for her because it does suck that everything she thought was going to be is ripped away. Like, I do feel bad for her, but it's not the viewer's fault. I mean, if someone gets found out doing something scummy, the fault lies with that person, not with the people who found it out. I get that she feels hopeless. I get that. It sucks. So I'm gonna show you some stuff. I mean, of course, there's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, so Amber is back to not being Tommy's girl on Instagram. She changed her name to O Ambi. I thought she had to wait a month to do that, but I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, she could change it. And then I found this parody account, satire account. Cats can have a little slommy. That was interesting. Here's something for the timeline. So Shlomi only unfollows Amber 10 minutes after this video drops. That's the this is over video. Right, I was looking at some of her thirst trap comments right before this and I think ALR really does deserve Ellen Delusional because she looks a bit like Ellen DeGeneres. On top of that, her first comment was before Amber even broke up with Valentine. Interesting timeline for the Valentine equals Slommy theorists. Because people think Valentine and Tommy might be the same person, which could be, I don't know. So there's her comment, those eyes though, and then thirst trap. 21 June, that one I censored over the date, but it's between the 19th and the 21st of June. Then here's some more theories about what's going on on Twitter. Option one, Tommy admitted the screenshots are real, but Amber lied to us saying they're fake to protect the relationship. Option two, Tommy lied to Amber saying the screenshots are fake and Amber just blindly believes her. Option three, neither something else. I think I said number one. Because, I mean, to just blindly believe her is a bit is a bit much, but I guess that's possible. There's a comment that says, I don't know, I think Tommy was upfront about being a feeder and Amberlynn is protecting her anyways. This is the ideal situation for her. Someone who will enable her and pamper her. She'll say whatever to maintain. Then there's, on, the, on Reddit, just a part about what has been found to be actual evidence, <laughs> a legitimate factual, so I'm going to read that. One, that Tommy participated in the feedism lifestyle as a feeder as evidenced by her presence in publicly posted and accessible forum posts. I mean, come on, you don't do that, man. There's no way I would do that. Okay, so <laughs> publicly posted and accessible forum posts and photographs shared in a group solely and specifically devoted to feedism and populated almost exclusively with feedists. 
man, it's not even behind a paywall or anything. <laughs> Two, that a woman whose name we encourage people not to share as she is deceased and at the request of her surviving family was partnered with Tommy during the period of her end of life. Because of that sentence is a bit confusing. The family asked that people not drag their deceased sister into it or whatever into it. She wasn't partnered because of the request of her family. <laughs> At the time, her life ended as evidenced in publicly posted and accessible media and forum posts. There is a video about the funeral memorial service where Tommy speaks. So that's what that is talking about. Three, that this woman who shall remain respectfully unnamed also participated in the feedism lifestyle as a feedy, as evidenced in publicly posted and accessible photographs and forum posts in a group solely and specifically devoted to feedism and populated almost exclusively with feedists. Four, that the passing of this woman who shall remain respectfully unnamed occurred in April of 2024. That Tommy is a parent of a minor child who shall not be named as evidenced by the matching of Tommy by identifying features in publicly posted and public publicly accessible photographs. So that's basically how I have it as well. The X was also on a Dr. Oz video, but I, I don't really want to share that one. It's not about her relationship with Tommy anyway. It's just basically how she wants to lose weight and she was married at the time and it's not really that relevant. And then there's some discussion as well about this, the whole story, but I'm not going to tell you. You guys don't know the whole story. And if you did, you'd be like, oh, that's fine. But I'm never going to tell the whole story. Okay, so stay miserable then. Imagine withholding information, knowing it'll improve your situation. Yeah, exactly. It's obviously horseshit. <laughs> and she's just trying to save face. Fuck. It's so raw, you guys. Fuck. But yeah, exactly. Like, why... Why bait that? And why not use that to clear things up? How? How can she deny that any of it's true? I can totally understand her denying it to herself, which is still crazy. But babe, we have seen the irrefutable evidence. Also, if there's a big part of it that we don't know or don't or understand, that would clear everything up, then why can't they stay together? Like, don't break up for your audience's sake. Personally, I think it's a bad idea to be involved with this person, but it's not my life. We can't and shouldn't dictate your relationships. You're the one who has to live your life. So if you and Tommy can't work it out, that's not on us. And then a little meme I made. Because I immediately thought of this meme. Damn viewers. Okay, so that's it for now. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, let's see where this goes. This is quite dark, to be honest. I'll see you next time. Bye.